For today's video, I'm going to be going over my top five running backs in this year's class. Let's get right into it. Number one, you guys know who I have. It's Bijan Robinson. It's got to be Bijan. It cannot be Bijan. Bijan is arguably the most talented running back prospect since 2000. That's all you need to know. And if you don't know, go watch some Bijan film. Number two, got my guy, Jameer Gibbs, a.k.a. Alvin Kamara 2.0, a.k.a. Mr. Electric with the ball in his hands. There's a lot of things I like about him. You know, you're getting a guy, three down back. You can also throw on routes constantly. He can be electric, mess up linebackers. You're getting a guy like uh, Kamara or McCaffrey. Gotta love that. And that's what's so crazy is in any other year, Gibbs would be for sure your number one guy, but that's just how talented Bijan is. Number three. So I have a tweet from two years ago. It says Zach Charbonnet, RB1. Now, obviously, obviously, he's not RB1, but RB3 now with these other two just insanely talented prospects above him. But that's the point. Don't be mistaken. Just because he's RB3 does not mean he doesn't have not have RB1 talent. This man is talented. He runs through people. He runs over people. Uh, there's just not enough good things to say. I've loved him since I don't even remember what school I first saw him on. He's transferred a couple times since. But the point is, I've loved him for a couple years, and I think you will too. Once you, If you haven't seen him, you got to go watch some Zach Charbonnet, man. Talented running back prospect. Number four, get my guy. Well, I guess I can't see my guy, but Devin, it's shame. And let me just take a look here because I don't, I, I want to get the stats right for you because he literally ran all over us. LSU I'm referring to last year. And so I don't remember the exact, I, I can't find here. I'm not going to strain you guys to make you wait. But the point is man ran all over us and, uh, I kid you not, all I was doing is just saying, please just he just just tackle him. Just advance just breaking tackles, avoiding tackles. He run he ran a lot of carries and he's still very effective. He's the type of guy where you bring him into your offense, you feed him the ball 20, 30 times a game and just tell him to go to work. He's gonna go to work. That's what you're getting with him. So that being said, with these other three really talented prospects in front of him, he's gotta be my number four, but very talented prospect right there. And my guy here, number five, I'm going Ty J Spears, Tulane. If you haven't heard of him. Might just because, you know, Tulane's not super, too big of a score or nothing. I, I can't blame you. Let me just tell you. Man is talented. And um, there's a lot of different times throughout the year he showed his talent, you know, had a lot of big games. I would say, though, the biggest right here, and I, I got it pulled up for us already, is when he went, he ran for 205 yards, four touchdowns, on only 17 carries against USC for their bowl game. Now, again, I know USC's defense was nothing crazy, and they had a lot of flaws, but regardless, with the O-line group in comparison of Tulane to the talent of USC, like that's a run over 200 yards is no slight achievement. They were the fifth or not. I'm sorry, not fifth. They were the 12th overall team in the country at this point, but they were fifth for a long time in the year. We know USC had a lot of talent. Tajay Spears is a talented running back. He's kind of in that, he, you know, he's short, elusive type of guy where you're getting a really high ceiling with him. 